What are we clapping for? Let's shut up. I'm so glad Biden became president. <laughs> I'm so glad. Woo! We got paid because of it. That's, yeah. Joe Hayden. Joe Hogan. <laughs> oh, yeah, Joe Hayden. <laughs> so, guys, this is our first ever upload on the new, the brand new PCP channel. We're making a whole I'll channel. Clap. Oh, is care. the channel Shut named up. PCP? Like, we're we're yeah, gonna okay. we're gonna name it PCP. That's gonna be our thing. And uh, I don't know. PCP. I don't know if we're gonna re-upload the old videos, the old podcast. I don't know if we are. I think we're just gonna leave them the same. But this is where all the shit's gonna be every fucking Thursday, motherfucker. Dude, I was be... gonna ask you what. Uh, so basically. Mighty and Jordan are never gonna upload anything on there. It's basically just gonna be me and you. Yeah. Uh, so, I was thinking, like, of just, like, making, like, like, stream highlights on there. Not really edited at all, you know? It's probably, like, ten minutes. Yeah. Just, like, what? stuff what? every now and then. Yeah. I mean, PCP is literally gonna be all of us. Yeah. That's all it is. It's not, it's like, like, if you ever, have you seen the Creature Hub? Back when creatures were a thing, or anything like that? No. Okay, well, it, they basically did stuff like that where they would have game nights and they put them on the Creature Hub channel, or like they would just do like unboxings or whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty Same cool. Thing. Yeah, right. I don't think I want to go through the effort with all of you guys <laughs> to do stuff like that all the time. I might do it once in a while, but like, I'm not going to try and make it a consistent thing, because that's just going to be hell. This like if we have this much problems with the podcast, I can't imagine trying other shit. No, I feel like we could. I feel like the thing is, I know maybe we're probably... doing only one thing is the problem. Yeah. No, I think that I think if people like if we're because you gotta think of it almost like a business kind of where it's like if everyone's not working the same capacity, it kind of shatters, right? There's yeah. always there's always someone like holding everyone up. Um. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> sure about that. Sure. Motherfucker. You can't even upload monthly. Shut up, bitch. So, anyways. I feel like it'd be easier in real life, though. <coughs> you know how easy it would be in real life? Like, if we all we all lived in the same place. And we just fucked around. You know around. how easy you are in real life? Dude, why you gotta say stuff like that, man? It just ruins me. Are you trying to fuck around with the Texas Jacob? <clears throat> Maybe. That's the fucking, that's actually the, uh, the plan that we all have, is that if, uh, Texas and the housing crisis, uh, don't fuck us over, uh, Texas is the move, and then we're Look, gonna... It's cheap happens? here, it's cheaper in Kansas. I'm just it's saying, I don't know if Jordan would move, though. Dude, who the fuck lives in Kansas? <laughs> Nobody. Bro, no one lived in Colorado, and people would move there. And now it's yeah, like the... Colorado, people didn't move there, because it was like the first state that weed was legal. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. No one lived in Colorado, and then... People did, and you know, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Colorado, we get. Does that noise until? I'm just saying, man. People. Why do you look like a fucking eucalyptus? I'm edgy. I wear rings now. Bro, you gonna make TikToks? It would show me no. how you hate me. I will not. Only and, oh, we uh, we fucking totally sidetracked. We're here with Cad. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's wherever he's at. Whichever direction. Uh, he's fucking. He's right there. Um, he's he's the homie. He's been around for longer than I can even remember. Back when I used to play Ages. Overwatch on Xbox. I think I met Cad before any of you. Yeah. Well, he used to be a viewer, right? And you played Xenoverse with us, right? No. I've no, you're never thinking of you're thinking of redacted name. I'm gonna put it right here. You're thinking of that. Uh, you're not. Oh, that's yeah, not Cad. Yeah, yeah. Thinking of that. I've been, well, they, I'm not wrong. It's I've been like, around since Vince's party animal channel. Mm, guys, he I'm did like. Call. You want to put it on the podcast? Uh, is Burger King is calling? The IRS. Hello. Burger King. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> My name is Mike. I'm calling you from U.S. Financials. How are you today? You doing good? Not really. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. That was fucked up, Mike. Hello? I'm mocking him. 
Can I not mock him? Well, I, I guess you just want to listen. Uh, well, my day has been going pretty bad because, you know, my daughter. Did you know I have a daughter? No. Hello? <laughs> Are you with my daughter right now? Is this one of her boys? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go? <laughs> oh. I thought you were actually calling him. What a that. loser! He didn't stick to the bit, loser. Do you think he just wanted you to keep talking so he could use your voice clips into gain into your bank account information? <laughs> I think he was yes. very nervous. I think it was probably his first time or something. <laughs> He's a new scammer. The moment you mentioned something about your daughter, I was... dude, I was gonna break. <laughs> I was gonna break. Yeah. But like, yeah, we're we're here with Cadillium Wellington. This is my full name, yes. AKA Cadwell, the, my the good old boy. Cad William Ellington. William oh, Ellington. Cad William. I thought it was Cadillium. No, I just legally changed it's it right Cat now. It's Cat Williams. No, his real name's actually... I'm blocking <laughs> that out. That is fucked up. You actually doxed him. That's... Uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's his real name, dude. Yeah, his real name. Fucking... <laughs> so, no, I'm blocking that out. That's fucked up. Isn't that so... right, Stop! I gotta fucking- you're making this hard! I gotta literally <laughs> that's, censor that. That's not his last name. <laughs> At my job, there was a woman that was just like, she got her thing late or whatever, and she- she was like, she's like, I hate this goddamn cotton picking- and then she said like, tray or something. <laughs> I'm just like, it's a fucking inanimate object. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? She's- she's getting mad a, at the she, fucking cotton picking machine. She's like, oh, God, I only <laughs> 200 years ago. It's just like, holy fuck, dude. You got a, you got your one Guys, piece shirt on. GTA 6, mm -hmm. they added sex. Yeah, I do. And guess what? what? Guess Checking what's on the back? Book. Fucking pussy. Oh fucking my God, it's Goku. Such a fucker. weeb, You can't bro. see it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry. yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Nick. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Okay. You know what I was thinking about doing? I'm gonna cut this whole part out right here. But in the beginning of the podcast, I was gonna put a black screen that's like a caution thing, but it only shows up for like three seconds. I go ba 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 ba. Enjoy it. That's it. Fuck yeah. Why did you tell us that? I thought about that like. Four days ago, and I was like, "Yeah, that's good." <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just it's so to weird. Good for you. Cool. Hell yeah. Fuck you, mighty. You don't do shit, man. I At least don't. Jordan makes videos that he doesn't release. Asshole. Oh god. Ooh. Fuck you. I work more than all of you. Yeah, you, you don't work, work on, more than me. You work on being fucking lazy. That's what you. Mean. Bitch. Bow, bow, bow. I fucking hate you. Cause I'm white. No, cause your you white cause shirt. Right. Because so of your white fucking t-shirt. My white okay. dream. So you dream. you hate him because a part of him is white. That sounds pretty racist to me, dude. Wait, yeah. Jacob, turn around. Is my name on the back? No, it's the other one. Oh, uh, lame. It's the the Bobby Hill one. By the way, anyone watching? Shout out my boy Randall Milan. R M B on Spotify. New song came out. Good shit. That's my boy. How much are you getting paid for this ad? Nothing. And where's I my actually cut? lost money. Uh, That's just a uh, lie. Uh, tell us how much you got paid, man. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't talk about it. That's under the. That's under wraps. Ever since I got my fucking Brita water bottle, I unironically am a spokesperson for it because it's so. Ever good. since I left the city, city you. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this shit is actually really good. If you if you want to stop drinking the water bottles like Vince does, I'm glad you're not everywhere. drinking out of a fucking milk jug anymore. Well, I mean, I still got it right here. I fill it up <laughs> with water, damn. but it, it's like I pour it into this and it's filtered, so it's like it's good. So you wow. pour. I hate. I, it's so I don't have to get up and go get water. I can just. Oh, stay oh yeah, go so get some water. Just go get some I'm water. a gamer. 
God. You ever fucking why heard it? Mini fridge? Why isn't there G Fuel there, huh? Because I'm not. I don't want to die of diabetes. It. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how gamers fucking go, dude. You, you gotta accept it. it. He actually has G Fuel. Imagine having fucking. He probably has I PewDiePie G Fuel. <laughs> don't you want to bet? The G Fuel in. He's been the... preserving it all this time. <laughs> The G and G fuel stands for gay, and it makes you gay. I mean, oh, I, don't I need some it. of that. I mean, if Mighty's so gay, straight men are attracted to him. You know, that says a lot. That means that that that's a good product. If he's so gay, is the bit over? No. Uh, the <laughs> hole. I have it. What do you got? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fucking! I hate you, dude. What is it? You gonna hear? Keep it oh. in suspense. <laughs> he just smiles. Off <laughs> you. What kind of G fuel is it? Uh, Faysberry and Hype Mr. Sauce. Beast. Oh, do you have? You said what? It tastes like what? Does it taste like milk juice? Oh, dude, I get Mike, so much. If you invested in MILF coin a month ago, you could have been broke right now. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm losing money on Doge every day. Like, I'm, I'm not in the hole, but I'm just sad. Remember when you, sad every week, why didn't you yeah. invest in Doge? Bro, mm -hmm. I still made $200 off of it, bitch boy. I, Shut up. You should invest in Doge right now. No. No, that's a terrible idea. Yes. Don't no. do it, Mighty. Mm. Mighty, if you get two more friends to invest in Doge, we'll be up. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty, if you if you buy GameStop right now, you'll be a millionaire. Oh my god. Think about oh that. my god. <laughs> Bro, fuck my Yo, I could have actually had thousands of dollars if everybody didn't convince me to sell AMC. Yeah, bro. I think I was one of them. No, I wasn't. I, you told yeah, me to buy were. it. No, because you told me to buy it, and then I bought it and lost money. I was like, Fuck you, but then it went up like triple that, and I was like, oh shit. So, so I was I like, dude, said, there's no way AMC could just stay at $10. Like, how? They just got all of this money? Like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But, whatever. Bro, I've been checking fucking, uh. This is really boring. I'm sorry for the other guys on the podcast. I've, I checked fucking Nokia. Bro, it's at 580 now. So what was I, it at before? Uh, it was at 5. Now it's at 580. I made like 140 bucks. Big time swagon, dude. That's a, that's a long term investment. That's when that's yeah. when they get fucking Amazon buys them out. And I just I become ah, Jeff Bezos is shaking and crying right now because of that money. He's just like this poor. Well, he's person. no longer the CEO. He stepped down. Did he? He's so rich. Yeah. yeah, he's so rich. He doesn't need to, right? Yeah. Wait. How no? I mean, you're damn near a trillionaire. It doesn't really matter. How can you be? How can you not be the CEO and still make moves like Amazon Rocket thing? Because he fucking owns it. He probably just doesn't do like the business side of it. You know what I mean? He just does what he wants. Yeah. He doesn't handle like the bullshit, probably. Yeah, but you would still have to be CEO, wouldn't you? You know. If you want to be like live like Jimmy Neutron and fucking fly rockets into space and shit, you'd probably have he's to just, still be the CEO, right? He's just that fucking rich now. It doesn't fucking matter anymore. Bro, there's a lot of shit that uh, corporations get away with, and I don't like it. I don't I like, like it. one bit. I so many corporations. Cool. One of the things that makes me angriest is corporations get away with like stealing other people's art. Oh like, yeah. There's a lot of advertisements and stuff that they have, like that are just like pictures and all that, and. Artists go out on like Twitter and social media to be like, "Oh, they stole it," and nothing gets done about it. Well, in the new uh, Space Jam movie, that's, they that's, didn't... When you, that's when you, that's when you just gotta put a big ass logo over your shit. That's why people watermark, watermark shit. Yeah, that's yeah. why people watermark shit all the time. But there was a um, the new I I think this was a rumor. I don't know if this was true or not. But I heard that in the new Space Jam movie, they didn't credit any of the voice actors besides Lola Bunny, which was like, Love how? Bunny. That's what I'm saying. I was like, what? There was like a big uproar about that. I heard wow. it was terrible. Yeah. It... As opposed to a downward? What? What? What the fuck did you just say? 
Well, you said there's a big uproar about that, and I was like, what, as opposed to a big downroar? That was not a banger of a joke. Then, shut the fuck up. You ran across your entire house to grab G Fuel and smiled at the and camera for eight seconds. And still <laughs> made all of you laugh. Eat my shit. Why? why? It's How about you right? eat your own shit? <laughs> <laughs> Do it right now on camera. Just fucking pop a squat and drop it, man. Why, you said you would show your nut sex on the podcast. <laughs> nah, <laughs> your multiple nut sex. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got, I got like three of them. Mighty, would you... Would you get a mold of your ball sack and put it on your desk? It's like a stress balls. <laughs> yeah. It's like silicone. No. That's Why weird. Not? I don't Why know. Nah. Sounds like you're that, uncomfortable. That's like a it's like you having a relationship with a girl that you're too scared to meet in real life, so you make a mold of your penis and send it to her. That's no. <laughs> it's like the same thing. That is fucking scary. Uh, Mighty, do you have a lock on your door, or they did not? La, 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 la. There's know. no lock on the door. You should board it up. How do you jerk off? I don't. I'll throw your hands out. Bro, no. you coom every day. No. You see fucking Mighty. uh that ginger bitch from One Piece, and you go, oh, fuck. No. You do. No. You pull the DSP, and you go, oh. Mighty, I bet you watch oh. really normal porn. <laughs> he goes on the recommended. <laughs> the first page. This will suffice. <laughs> That's exactly it. what he says. I do it when it needs to be done. Like how often? When was the last know. time? Like last week. I was what like, the hell, bro? You actually have no sex drive at all. I just it's don't slow. feel like I need to do it. I don't care. I'm not like addicted to it. Like a fucking weirdo like you. Bro, everyone <laughs> jerks off every day. I don't. I, I don't, don't need to. Yeah. That's a lie, Vince. <laughs> I, I see I right through your fucking I face. Do not. <laughs> I do not. How, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, I can just fucking tell. I'll put tell a like a, my balls. A six. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hotshot. How long have you... How long has it been since you jerked off? Me? Yeah. How many days sober? <laughs> uh, yeah, post nut clarity. I don't even remember. What? Oh, no. It's like when I was seven <laughs> years old. Oh, no. You guys are fucking weird. I don't know. Just well, Jacob, it doesn't feel the same. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this man might acts like he has sex every weekend. Shut the fuck up, dude. No, I'm not he a man. Doesn't feel the same. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's been a week when I came inside your mom. Oh my god, yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. Just need to do that every day. Need to go fuck every day. If you don't fuck every day, you're basically a beta male. And that's all I gotta say about that. Fucking exactly. So, Cad, you're a fucking beta male, man. What? You're a beta no. mailman. No, oh. fucking every Wait, day. Wait, I'm a mailman? And deliver packages. Guess I'm gonna go to Las Vegas and get shot in the head. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what? Was, was that a what? Fall New Vegas fucking reference? <laughs> yeah. You're so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I was talking to my cousin's girlfriend, and uh, we're, I, I was telling her about, like, how uh, I used to go on Xbox 360, and me and my friends would troll, like, people like one person will pretend they're a girl and then we get them in a party and we just roast them yeah you know and then uh dude i don't know why i don't think she meant it like this but i was like when she said this i was like why did you say that to me but she was like uh she's like oh, oh i said the story and i was like yeah i don't know why like guys always get so crazy over girls on xbox you know what i mean and then she was like, well, no offense, you know, but they're all probably like nerdy guys don't really ever talk to chicks. And they're like, oh my god, a girl? I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah. Dude, holy fuck, that reminded me. Okay, you remember you remember the one creepy-ass dude on Xbox One? And he, okay, I was in a party with you guys. 
and I was just kind of chilling. Mm. And he fucking joined. And he started talking, and you guys started fucking roasting him about having like a twelve-year-old girlfriend. Pedophile, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't remember that, but I. I, I remember I, this, dude. I remember roasting the fuck out of him, dude. He's there was fuck, like eight like, of us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, there was so Trevor many was people. There. Trevor was there too. I'm pretty sure. And that was. Oh yeah, Trevor was there. Yeah. Was that was that when Trevor was like zanned out? Was that like during that time? I don't know if I could know. A little after. No. A little after. No. Okay. But I remember we were all just roasting him for like an hour, and then eventually I was like, I just wanted, I just want to like know why he did this. So I was like trying to ask him questions and shit, but everybody was still roasting him. <laughs> and I think afterwards, it was uh, me, Jordan, and him or something, and me and him and Jordan were all talking, and I was like, I was like just like calling him like you're a fucking weirdo dude like you're just weird like that's not right and then and like jordan and like like eventually ended up feeling like bad for him like he knew that like he was doing wrong shit but jordan was like yeah i just kind of feel bad for the guy yeah i don't i thought about it i felt great making fun of him (laughs) <laughs> I I was thinking about it the other day and it's like whenever whenever I see like to catch a predator or even like the EDP situation I don't even think well EDP actually said he had a thing for younger girls so never mind but I think that some of it is kind of based in the reality of like I want to like corrupt a pure person or like you know what I mean like you, you ever talk to um I I've had a conversation with a girl about this but they said that like guys look at them different if they had sex like, they don't have their virginity, they're like, Ew, dude, you fucking slut. And just, like, I feel like those types of people are, like, more prone to, like, getting into that kind of situation, where they're, like, messing with underage girls, because it's, like, <laughs> you know. If you don't fuck it's... virgins, you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I think. It's, like, it's gross, dude. Oh, my God. No, no, I mean, like, if... <laughs> <laughs> Like, they want to only fuck virgins. Oh, yeah. If Yeah. Yeah, that's what I yeah. meant. If you only fuck virgins, you're a pedophile. <laughs> that's not what I was saying. That means the first person I fuck is going to be a pedophile, and that's not right. That's not right at all. I mean, are they wrong? <laughs> Who, who's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong if they... With me because I'm not. Want to get touched, little boy? I'm 21 years old. I. You're 21. Yeah, you're 21. Yeah, I just. Have you you gotten drunk yet? Yeah, I've gotten drunk twice. Me and Vince got drunk one night. (laughs) Vince got so drunk. I don't remember like the end of it. Yeah. Okay, I can talk about it. So the second the second night I ever got drunk, it was with Vince, and this this is the only time. It's like the two times I've ever been drunk. So the second time I was like with Vince, I was like, you know what? You want to get drunk, dude? Because I'm 21. You're like, yeah, fuck yeah. So then you started um, start drinking, and we started just, like, talking about shit. I don't even remember, really. It was just, like, we were talking about... We were, like, really hyping each other up, and we are like, you know what? You know? It was, like, on some real shit. But mm. then, like, Vince was just, like, <laughs> drifting out of reality at points. And then there what was... You there, like, you would... I remember you're, like... <laughs> you're, like... You're talking to me, and you're, like, bro. I'm, I feel like I'm going to throw up. And I was like, I was like, bro, you good? And you picked up a trash can like this. And you're like, oh, there's holes in it. And then you put it down. And then, and then you fucking, I remember, like, most of the time after that, you were silent. But I would hear, like, in-betweens of you, like, coming, like, back and forth. You're like, I just puked all over the floor, man. Like, fuck. Dude, and shit I, like that. Fucking... And I was just like, damn. I don't think I puked on the floor. Did you? I, I thought I you, you said you did. Oh no, you fell on the floor. I fell? <laughs> I think you fell. You said, I think you ran to the toilet and threw up like four times, but you uh-huh. fell, and it was because Vince drank buzz balls. And he did in like no no time. He just fucking yeah. shotgunned that shit. And I was just like, why? Why? Hey, I drank a lot. <laughs> that was bad. Dude, the fucking night of my brother's baby shower. I think it's, that's the most drunk I've been because I don't remember half of that night. It was just like blackout <laughs> drunk. Because like, I remember being upstairs and we were playing a drinking game and uh, I was playing it wrong. Very wrong. Because I was taking <laughs> big ass sips and we're supposed to like fucking just you know, and I'm like 
Mm. So I like have my cup filled up twice. Meanwhile, everybody else is still on the same first cup. So I've been I'm fucked at this point. Shit. Cup of what? It was like it was some uh, some alcohol named Jim Bean Vanilla, and then we mixed the uh, Dr oh, Pepper cream soda in it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That shit is. You were taking that shit swigs tasty. like that? Fuck yeah! I was oh, drinking down in that shit. I was already drunk, cause so I was like six mics hard in. Mm-hmm. Damn, you're and, um, drinking. I was drinking. told that uh, I guess my underwear was in the toilet that night. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the Did you like wipe yeah. your own ass with your I don't underwear? know what happened. I just my underwear was on the toilet. Um was this I in your own house? Yeah. I like I vomited everywhere in my fucking room. Oh, it was bad. God. Does it still smell like vomit? No, I cleaned my room. I fucking steamed my fucking bed with the fucking carbon cleaner. And that's shit. horrible. Yeah, that's but, terrible. Yeah, apparently I was like so drunk. I guess my brother recorded me. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want anybody to see it because it looks Why? terrible. Why not? It just, I'll I've put never it on the seen myself drunk. No, it's bad. I don't know. I just think it's <laughs> what if bad. I do? I'm just speaking nonsense, and then I'm just every now and then I'm just like, I gotta do this shot for Vince. I gotta do it <laughs> for who? <laughs> for you, Vince. Why? Why? <laughs> what the I fuck? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's just like Why? I gotta do it for Vince. <laughs> he wasn't even a part of that. He was like in the farthest oh, from that. <laughs> it was a fucking. It was a baby shower for a fucking bomber and his fucking wife. <laughs> fucking. I gotta do this for Vince, man. Just fucking. <laughs> He's gotta do it. What the fuck? Oh my god. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate you doing that oh, for me. Oh my god. Yeah, man. I did it. I did it for you. Appreciate and eventually they started putting dude. water in my cup and said it was vodka. And I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that, night was, <laughs> that night was not good. But yeah, it was good, but not the morning was good. If I had the footage, I'll put it here. But I probably won't, so. You did. <laughs> I got this shot for me. <laughs> I was trying to you, dude. I want to see that. I'll ask yeah. my brother. See, because he has a video. He sent it to me over Discord or something. Well, that's so oh, random. <laughs> I know, but it's for Vince, bro. I'm fucking drunk shit, man. You Get know, that shit. shit don't, you don't know. But yeah, man. Did that shit for you. For you it, I don't know I'm if we talked about it. Me. I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast. Maybe I did last episode. But uh, Julius and... Uh, should I say her name? Is that is that okay? Okay. Okay. Julius and Emma which is uh, Mighty's uh, brother and sister-in-law, are having twins. So, good shit. Where man. are they getting them from? Michael's? Ralph's. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yo, I actually have a Ralph's card. Did they get the, like, the buy one, get one free? <laughs> yeah. Shit. They got the BOGO problem. discount. Fuck yeah, I was about to say they had the BOGO going. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's a BOGO discount? Buy, Buy one, one, get, get one. one. It's like an acronym. Bogo. Oh. Wow. Have you never known that? Mm mm. Never seen that. Never heard that. Really? Yeah. I wow. never <laughs> that. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I remember in Arizona, I, like I went to a Schlotsky's. If you guys know what Schlotsky's is, it's pretty good. No place. idea. It's like a, it's like a bur- it's like a sandwich place, but they have like pizzas there and stuff. It's pretty good. Um, and I remember me and my mom were at the, like the drive-through like takeout area, and we saw on the window it said free w- Wi-Fi, but we didn't know what that meant because <laughs> like we weren't like I wasn't I was like fucking six years old, and my mom wasn't really good with technology, so she thought that free Wi-Fi meant free Wi-Fi, which means refill, because you could get free refills if you go inside. So for some reason. In our minds, it made sense that it's it was a free refill. You know, it said free Wi-Fi. And, yeah. and then the guy at the, the, like, we went there one time, like, ooh, free Wi-Fi or whatever. And the guy at the, the thing is like, no, that's Wi-Fi. It's like, oh, like, internet? It goes, yeah. And she goes, oh. Boomer like, moment. But this was back in, like, 2007. 
So that was a long time ago. When I was a little baby. A little baby boy. A little child man. Alright, Cab, what do you got to tell us? Um, yeah, what do you got to tell us? I love women. Do you love any particular women? Like, uh, what's Gwyneth her name? Paltrow. Who the fuck is that? I was thinking <laughs> of George Lopez. Gwyneth Paltrow is the, uh, the girl, or the woman who sued, uh, Goop, which was, like, the Call Me Carson group. Gwyneth what? Paltrow sued yeah. Goop. And, uh, yeah, because it's, like, her vagina candle, uh, name. <laughs> I'm not making any of this up. No, it has yeah, no, she, no. she has a candle that smells like her vagina, and she sold yeah. it. I'm and not she making sued that up. Them? She sued them because it was like that's her brand. It was goop. <laughs> and she sold like like Vietnamese like lotions and shit. My, you look fucking. I'm scary. fucking disgusted. What? <laughs> yeah, she she sells a candle that smells like her vagina. So she like she like rubbed she rubbed one out, smelled her hand, and was like, I need to recreate that. And I'm she gonna make this into a she, candle. She sniffed a whole bunch of stuff, and they like fucking scientifically made a candle that smells like her vagina. It smells horrible, by the way. It's terrible. That's, why? I'm, <laughs> what does this bitch look like? She's like. I need to Google this after. She Gwyneth Paltrow is, is the she the play, female. She, yeah, she she's she played uh, Pepper in like Iron Man. I don't know. Yeah, I think she did. She's the Her? female. She yeah. was the female protagonist in uh, um, Shallow How. She was the fat bitch. That looks skinny. I don't skinny. know what the fuck that movie is. Shallow How with Jack Black. It's about a guy who like looks at women like really fucked up, so he gets a curse where he dates a fat woman, but he thinks that she's skinny. It's a comedy. <laughs> No, I've never and he wakes up and she's movie. fat with all her fat rolls, and he's like, "Oh my god!" Sounds like a fat shaming movie. Yeah, you should be. It, kinda, it actually kind of is. It's really fucked up. <laughs> she's like six hundred pounds in the movie. Like, huge. That's really fat. Yeah. Shout out to all my fat boys out there. What about yeah, girls? Me. You like girls, girls or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Cad, what's a life story that you have that's funny and interesting? Yeah, come on. My Cad. life is not interesting. I know you have some stories. Bro, Cad, what tell about me about that, that connect- one time you went fishing. When did yeah. I go fishing? What did I tell you <laughs> <think> about that? <laughs> Yo, one time uh, in middle school, I found a used condom on the court. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was it was it was a fucking hot day too. Did you did you eat it? Suck it. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> it was for protein. Someone did you know? Did you know what it? Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> a hot summer's <laughs> day. <laughs> Fermented <laughs> semen. Ugh. It wasn't. Uh... Everyone, everyone just clicked off the fucking video after oh, that. That was no. disgusting. Jesus. God. We literally walked out of the fucking locker room, and there it was, like. And, and 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 yeah, fucking. <laughs> and so there, there was like two classes out there, and so there were two like sets of oh, numbers. What, people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fish. Oh, two shit. classes of fish. <laughs> yeah. You got some interesting stories though, Ken. <sighs> like you told us about the connect thing, the connect ghost. Your your mom did. Connect ghost. Yeah, the connect ghost. The can. Oh yeah, the connect. Ghost. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Actually, you know what you know what I think of every time I think of that story? So what? part of it part of it was that it also kinda looked like the fucking silhouette was like sitting on the couch and I imagine that meme where it's the fucking bright ass dude. <laughs> oh yeah. He's like just chilling like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was like uh. that. I'm not a non-believer, but it's just like I've never experienced anything <laughs> like that. Where it's like I'm not I can't. A non-believer. I'm I not believe. a non-believer. My crystals are telling me there's a ghost in this room right now. <laughs> Guys, I holy water every single one of my walls every three weeks. Make I'll sure there's no demons around. Shit. No demon is. Entering I know. I know. Sick. Vince. This is actually a perfect time because me and Vince actually used to talk about shit like this, but we never had a podcast. It was like four years ago. And Vince has, like, really scary fucking ghost stories. Like, actually. <laughs> Dude, like, I like, must have told him on the podcast. No, you haven't. I don't think I don't you have. Think so. shit. No, I'm, I'm serious. We, we've just talked about it. So we've talked about it, like, 
off and on for so long. But you you never told it on the podcast. I'm trying to think of an episode where you did. I I can't think of any. Nope. You did oh, not. Not nice. that I recall. Let's see. <sighs> you guys want to hear my ghost story? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So once upon a time, oh, I, I was can't. about. This is, a fucking, this is a fucking fairy tale, dude. <laughs> it's not a fairy tale, man. Once upon a time in a flooded sewer with the dead body. Once upon a time, uh, when I was about six years old, I uh, was living with my grandma and my dad. That's it. The only two people I live with. And uh, my grandma... Or no, I, I'll just say it. So, you know, I was. it was probably like 2 or 3 a.m. or some shit. And uh, I don't believe in ghosts anymore. Like I used to for a while, but I don't. But I literally don't know how to explain this story. It's so weird. But it's just like, I don't believe in ghosts at the same time, so it's weird. But, yeah. So I was like probably like six years old or something. And uh, I was just walking to the kitchen probably like 2 or 3 a.m. Because I wanted milk. I love drinking milk as a kid. Mm. So I wanted some milk. And I opened the fridge. And then I got some, uh, some milk out the fridge, right? And uh, I was like pouring it pouring it like in the cup and uh <laughs> and so i felt like a wind so like i was in the kitchen right so like right now where i'm is the kitchen there's a bathroom right there and then like on the right side there's a big hall that goes down like that and so i felt a wind come from behind me and then go all the way down the hall so i was like what the fuck so i looked down the hall and i was like there's nothing there and so then i looked on my arm and there's just this big black fucking hair on my arm. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? So I just left everything and ran back to my room. Left the glass of milk story. out on the counter? Yeah, dude. What, you want me to respectfully fucking put it away while there's a ghost about to kill me? Fuck yeah! <laughs> don't respect the milk, Shut you up. don't respect society. <laughs> I almost said a fucked up joke. <laughs> you can. I'll bleep it. <laughs> I, said, I was gonna say, that's why black people die first in the movies. <laughs> that's not a that's, okay. that, that's a pretty good one yeah that's keep not that in? Up. yeah i'll keep that in it is true though if you <laughs> yeah i'm gonna pull, i'm gonna pour back my milk respectfully back in the jug because i haven't drank from it yet <laughs> shut up no this is not happening you're gonna die <laughs> there was another story you told me where you like you saw i always say this and you think you always say i'm wrong about it but you told me about like like this shit about falling books and like a giant pile, you remember me? remember that? Like you had a dream about like this this pile of books, and it was like there it was like constantly falling from the sky, and you were just like on on the side of the pile. You told me about this. Like you I have a fear clear of books. No, I have a clear memory a of the you, knowledge. <laughs> you, I have a clear memory of you talking to me on Skate Three about this. I know the exact area. It's like by the docks, but it was like. It was like the books were falling, or like your cousin had like a ghost story where she had like a dream about like books falling and like a creepy ass like nightmare or some shit. Nothing? Oh. Dude, I wish I had that conversation. It was just like fucking weird. It was either like you 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 had like some weird shit with that or it was just like a super insane <laughs> nightmare that you just never want to relive ever again. But it was like something about falling books and that you looked around the books and there was like items that were like really scary like like a like a, like a tri not a tricycle because that's like too like corny like shit like that like 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 a voodoo doll or some shit I'm man, not even this kidding. man is fucking I'm not lost. even kidding this fucking happened are you, just, are you just recalling like a nightmare or something no i never had this dream <laughs> so that's why i'm retelling it because i don't remember it i do have a nightmare though with my um with my uh i almost forgot his name fucking uncle bill or grandpa bill why do i call him uncle yeah i am going in, in fucking insane my grandpa bill and i we we lived in my old house in arizona i remember the dream lasted maybe uncle like bill? three minutes dream no, my grandpa bill you know, Just call him yeah. Uncle Bill again. No, Grandpa Bill. Uncle Stop Bill. Stop gaslighting me. Shut up. <laughs> the the uh, 
but the dream lasted like three minutes but it'll always stick in my mind for some reason but i remember me and him were in my mom's bedroom and we were scared to death because we, we saw that it was like the the full moon outside so we just we, we went around scrambling for fucking wood and shit we we're placing it against the wall and like hammering it as fast as we can down there was like fucking wolves coming in and like busting the window and shit oh and this is a dream like, yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream it's and, real fucking um, life and I remember I woke up in like a cold sweat. I was so scared. It's like fuck, dude. And that will that'll haunt me till I die. That that nightmare. I used to have nightmares of. You ever played Twisted Metal? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I never played it, but I know. What is that game? Bro, I. Uh, it's practically just like a car demolition derby game. Really, you just cars it, that shoot each other. It's like Mad Max. I might yeah. have. It sounds familiar. But I used to have fucking nightmares about fucking Sweet Tooth in that fucking game. That shit is terrible. Like, I used to just, like, that nigga murdered my fucking family right in front of me and shit. Like, <laughs> I, like, I, like, I used to have fucking fucked up nightmares about What the shit. fuck? And, like, Holy fuck. It was so, like, it was, like, a long ass dream. Cause, like, I, like, recall him fucking, like, killing my fucking family and shit. And I run away. And then, like, was he a car? He's just, like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's no, no, like, a clown. He's a clown he's the, that's he's in the, the, clown the game. He's a clown in the car, yeah. But, like, oh. I just remember going outside and everything's just all fucking destroyed and shit like how it is in the video game. I'm just like, oh, Dude. fuck, oh, fuck. It's I used like to have a fucking apocalypse world and it's terrifying. I used to have a lot of dreams as a kid that dinosaurs, like, rose up and took over the world pretty much and everything just <laughs> fell apart. That would be and an I... interesting movie plot. Dude, yeah. every fucking nightmare I've ever I... had has involved me... Being in like this video game thing where it's like a fucking horror game, but I can't press quit. I try to go to the pause menu, I just fucking can't leave. You go through the options, you're like, oh, let me just stay here for a little bit. <laughs> I just play video. Yeah, but no, but but the but the <laughs> thing but the thing is also it was still running in the background, so I could fucking hear whatever was coming for me still around. Oh, it's like it's like fucking visage. Yeah. Oh, that's fucked up. I don't know. I remember it when I was a little slender man was my <laughs> biggest fear true dude a bunch of uh i know vince wanted to tell a story about his dream but the there was those girls that stabbed their friend that happened in wisconsin they stabbed so what they did was that they they had a there was like a they, there was like a fucking curse about slenderman and so what they thought about was like oh we're gonna bring this dumb fucking kid that that's in our class that doesn't really have that many friends we're gonna take her out to the middle of the woods and stab her and kill her for slenderman so these two like I think they were like 11 or like 13 or some shit. They took their friend out to the middle of the woods and they stabbed her like 34 times in the fucking chest. And like they thought that she only was 34? dead. <laughs> only 34. Uh -oh. And they, they, they were like, whoa, 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 we're gonna fucking leave. The kid survived. And she was like crawling out of the ditch bleeding. Like, <laughs> like, like, like dead by daylight. Yeah, like dead by daylight. <laughs> like fucking, like fucking. Uh, like she was wiggling around. She was recovering. No, um, but then they, she fucking survived that. And I think until like twenty nine, I think in twenty eighteen they were actually sentenced or something. Why? Because like, they were adults at that point. I think so. I don't know. It was like such a horrible crime with such a intent behind it that you had to be tried as an adult because it was just oh, like, fuck dude, yeah. Yeah. fucking thirty four stabs, yeah. fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and fuck. it was, it wasn't like just like some regular cuts, dude. These are like, it was with a, like a blunt ass kitchen knife too. I remember. It's fucked up. How'd they fuck up so bad? <laughs> I yeah, don't know. They they got a, they stabbed her so many times. Like how, how did they, they miss? Every single artery. Like, yeah. I, think they, <laughs> organ. I, think they, I think they stabbed her and then they, I think they slit her throat, but it wasn't a deep enough cut to actually get to her windpipe or something. Uh, God, these guys need to learn about murder for real. Fucking like, yeah, for real. Gotta, like, just, gotta be more efficient, dude. I had a dream one time where I I remember it vaguely. It was kind of like Mass Effect. I don't, I don't really care for Mass Effect. It's not really like that cool of a game to me. But I had like a dream where I was like Commander Shepard or some shit. I was I was like this captain of the spaceship, and I had like a whole bunch of like different species of people where they were just like, like kind of like Mass Effect, where you, whatever. So I went on missions with these people, and I remember I was making bonds and like doing all this stuff. I remember 
I remember on one of the missions, this is all one dream, by the way, one night, and one of the missions, we went to, like, a, a planet, and, like, something happened where, like, one of my crewmates, like, died in my arms. I remember, like, fucking being <laughs> so, I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding, I was literally, like, holding their head, I was just, like, fucking, like, crying, and I woke up because I was, like, dehydrated, I Richardson. woke up with tears. <laughs> yeah, no, I woke up with tears coming down my face. I've never had that happen ever again. I was like, bro, what the fuck? You were really like, that into was... that dream. You were fucking there. It you was there. scary, bro. I was like so fucking sad. I was your yeah, like, best that, friend. That 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 one about the fucking wolves and then the one that I just said will always stick to me no matter what. It was just like, dude. It was so fucked. So fucked. Just cry, bro. I never had a dream like that either. Ever again. Or like any dream that was like super emotional like that. I thought I was gonna die in one of my dreams. I uh I had a dream that I got shot in a uh oh I, I was in a God. mass shooting. That like I was in a mass shooting a dream that I had. Okay. I had I was in a ma I was in a mass shooting and I was in a school and I was in I was in high school at the time, I think. And I remember I was behind a door and I was holding the door shut so the guy couldn't get in, and this guy just blows a fucking shotgun through the door. And just gets me in the chest. I remember like laying there on the ground, like suffocating on my own blood, and, like dying <laughs> oh in my, my chest, feeling God. super happy. I'm not even kidding. What I the felt fuck? Like, I oh, felt like I was gonna shit. fucking die, bro. I was like, I was so fucked up. I was like, <gasps> like I felt that in real life. I woke up with like my like my own weight pushing myself, like my lungs on my bed. I I, I think I, if I actually slept longer, I could have like passed, like been like super unconscious or something. But like I was pressing my weight in a way where I was super like compressing my lungs I woke up like super like <sighs> probably cause I got shot too but you know it was fucked I had a dream when I was really little that it was the zombie apocalypse but everything was fucking lava and like it was like, it was, like living in a fucking volcano sounds like a and minecraft the... game mode and <laughs> okay true and the only weapons anybody had were like fucking utensils, like forks and spoons. <laughs> this is definitely a Minecraft game. Right? <laughs> yeah, this was Maybe just a Roblox. fever dream. This was this, this is when you were sick. Zombies. Yeah, this, this is when you were sick like and when you were eight years old and you you just had a weird fever and like you just don't remember the day. Dude, I remember one time, like the dream that I had, like yours, Jacob, is uh I don't know why, but I was in like New York. With my mom and my grandpa, we're all together, and uh, I had to go to like the summer school or something, or I don't know why we were at this apartment. Like you know th th those apartments in GTA Four that were like three buildings and they're all like really tall and it's like an apartment complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I went into one of those with my mom, because I guess we had to get like a laptop for me to do my schoolwork on or something. And so she's like, me and my grandpa are just sitting by the door like in chairs and then my mom's like talking to the dude and then he's like yelling at my mom and then he like slammed the door on her or something so i was like what the fuck so i go i go talk to the dude and then i like me and him start arguing and then he just like pulls out a shotgun and aims it at me i was like oh fuck so i'm running and i run like down the stairs and he's chasing me and uh uh I also like ran down like three like fucking staircases and then I, I hid behind the wall. Like, you know, like a wall to the right of the staircase. And then he just like he like turns he turns where I was and he just fucking aims the shotgun at me and then I wake up. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, I woke up my heart was beating so fast, dude. <laughs> like my heart hurt it was beating so fast. It's terrifying, it was bro. It's so terrifying. When I dream, I'm never in like first person perspective. Like, never. like GTA 4? You're like third person? Dude, for me, it feels like Resident Evil games where you have like a fixed camera <laughs> position. In the fucking <laughs> corner of the room? Yeah. What the fuck? It's fucking. It's kind of like that for me, too. Have you guys, um, speaking on that, have you guys ever seen like the, uh, or heard about the like when people first were watching movies? Like when movies were created? And people are like going into the theaters and watching them. There was a like it was like black and white film. There was a there was a scene of a train coming at a camera, and because and the everybody was, freaked out, everybody freaked out and ran out the movie theater because they thought a train was gonna hit them. 
because they they couldn't comprehend technology like that back in the day. That's so that's weird to think weird. about. Yeah, that's really weird for me to think about. So it's like I wonder if that's like how dreams are gonna be in like the future. You know, it's like why why do people feel that way? Like they were obviously just neurons firing in your head, and like I really don't I don't know if people in the future will dream, dude. Of course they will. Dude, we better have like the SAO shit where you, you you go to sleep but you're in the game. You know, dreaming that'd technically. Be that'd be Bro, fucking that'd, dope. That'd be awesome. Have two on lives. Some, on some non-weeb shit, yes, I would love SAO so much. Because we are... They fucking did it in Psychopaths. In Psychopaths, they talked about VR chat before it was a thing. So if you, if you ever watched Psychopaths, they literally describe VR chat. It's literally a digital world with their own hub spaces, and people look up to them. They have their own creative avatar or whatever. One's like a fucking like doll or whatever. Um, but it's just like, yeah, if we do that in real life, though, like, not not saying like get hooked up to feeding well, tubes in water and you're just like sitting there like this. Bro, what if what Imagine Elon all Musk? The shit you could get done. What if Elon Musk is like, I'll make SAO, but put this chip in your brain. Would you do it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. I'd yes. let him control my body while I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's like the oh, that'd be so scary. I'd be I'd be an Elon Musk warehouse worker while I'm asleep. That would actually be that's fucked up because that's kind of like Naruto with Madara's dream or whatever. But or Toby's dream. With but, the infinite Tsukiyomi? <laughs> yeah, that's low key what it is because it's like you're dreaming yeah. technically while you're doing work. Dude. I mean that would ink would that be humane though? Would that look, be humane? At I all? know it's gay, but it's like I mean actually I no, I, it wouldn't be that bad. I didn't I didn't watch the full video, but I guess like the premise of it was pretty interesting. It, it was a pursuit of wonder video, all right. I don't know, I'm gay, whatever. But pursuit, I, I don't know what that is. I don't even know that. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay, anyway. No, just tell me. Just tell me. What <laughs> it's it it's basically like a, uh, what's the word? Um, it's like philosophy, philosophy channel. Okay. And they just like do like random videos on certain stuff. Some of it's cool. Some of it's just kind of corny, but. You know, there's some cool stuff on there. And, yeah. uh... Well, there was this one where it was, like... This dude was offered... Or, this... There was, like, this really smart dude, and he was... And he went to, like, this TED Talk or something. And there was this other dude there... That, um... Was creating this thing... Where, uh... It was basically... You can volunteer to give up your life. And you could enter a reality... That is literally what you want so like if you want to be like the fucking greatest race car driver you're the greatest race car driver you know what i mean yeah and you're it's like your own creative reality and everything is catered to you but you give up your body now you know what i mean that's that's it's such a the thing is it's like when you're in a dream world, though, you kind of have a god complex, right? Like, you never actually improve on yourself. So, like, even though, like, even though, like, let's say if we all die, you know, DMT fires in our, into our brain and we just, like, infinitely dream about whatever, because we're just going to fade out of existence. Um, like, let's say you do that, but you're living. Like, it's weird to think, like, like, imagine, like, you're a kid, right? Like, you're an eight-year-old kid and you do that, right? Would you mentally develop at all? Or, like, would you ever even see yourself grow up? Or would you still be the same kid that you are? And then when you wake up from the machine, you're 50. And your perspective hasn't changed since you were 8 years old. Like, that's fucked up. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I like don't think it's, like, a dream or something. I just think it's, like, like a, a, like a reality that you're put into. You know what I mean? I think you're still yourself. You're just in this reality now. You know what oh, I mean? So you're almost like transported, but it's just only mentally. Yeah, and all of your past memories are like erased and replaced, pretty oh, much. Oh, I don't know if I like Yikes. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really ah. weird. So you're basically just a completely different person, but you're like. I guess if I was suicidal, I would do it. I don't yeah. know if I would. I would necessarily do it though. I think that would. My philosophy behind life is that like it's, it's normal to feel suffering. It's like if you're in a place that's no suffering at all for yourself, I think that's weird. Like I don't know, that's just really weird to me. I feel like you need ups and downs to keep yourself stable, you know. Mm -hmm. So, 
But I guess if no one tells you no in your dream world, you don't really see that, right? You never really run into that problem. Yeah, it was a weird yeah. video. So yeah, that's, that's weird. Never got to finish it, though. I only got up to that part. I think, though, that there needs to be... Um, just offhand, uh, not related, really. There needs to be uh, better technology for VR, because even though it's good, it's not practical. You need to spend so much money, and when you do spend that much money, you have fucking wires coming to you, and like fucking... Yeah, I have this good. Of I mean, you PC could just get a rift or a, a quest. Yeah, a quest, yeah. But a quest can only run so many games, right? Because it's yeah. not really built for it. So it's just I think like, it's still pretty good. It could run like 120 frames, I think now. It's good, but I'm just saying that I don't think there's a lot of games that are made compatible for it. Like, like too many. Yeah, you know? I think you could hook it up to your PC though, and you can use it yeah. with your PC. You can um cam or not cam link? What is it? You can do that. You can cable link it. And it works. Okay. So, if you got a good PC and you want a VR, just got a Quest. It's pretty good. Um, but Oculus is going to steal your information in the year, or a year and a half. They're going to make you sign up with your Facebook profile and use that to go everywhere. So I would use yeah, it. I'm going to delete index. my Facebook. Yeah, I was thinking about deleting my Facebook the other day, too. I was just like, I don't use it. It's just like harvesting data. That's all it's doing. It's just harvesting my data. And shit. I'm just like, nah. I might delete it. Is that the end of the podcast? No. We're we're is approaching it? it in three minutes. It, and now it's been an it, hour, ten minutes. It's, holy shit! Really? It doesn't even oh feel like God. it because because we've had that good of a thing. But I mean, we can go a little bit longer. I mean, most of it we're talking about dreams. Dream, 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 dream. A good portion of it. We we went from dreams areas. gonna be in the thumbnail in this fucking video. We talked about dream. Dream SMP? Let's clickbait the kids. I cheated in my dream. If there's dream one thing children dream? aren't good for, it's views. I take them home and bury them. Kids won't watch this. Rat. Kids don't, lo don't, kids don't oh, listen to people talk for hours if it's not constant cutting off. and visual sure stimuli. What the fuck are you talking Dude, about? Imagine what? just like how much, Nothing. just imagine like a six year old just listening to podcasts. That'd be so weird. <laughs> there was this Joe Rogan oh, talking about TNT. <laughs> my podcast where we talk Bro, about... Bro, we, we need to get the guy off of... Uh, 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 <laughs> we should get Joe Rogan on here. <laughs> yeah, get Joe should, Rogan. He'll do it. We should get, we should get the guy... We should get the guy off of SNS podcast. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, we should get Jesus that guy. Jesus Christ. SNS? What the fuck oh, is my boy Tony? Yeah. Ooh. Shout out to... Wait, you know his real name, dude? I actually just rarely found that guy. Just off a chance. I mean, he puts. How do you know his real name? Oh, he puts it in the bio. Oh yeah, I thought so. that was just like his dog's name or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we could probably get Tony on here. That'd be interesting because I, I, I rarely talk to Tony as is, and we we talk kind of in depth about some stuff, but the fact that he's on a podcast with just random dudes too, that'd be weird. The SNS like podcast, that. dude. Who the SNS podcast? Who is, yeah, what does that the, stand for? It's Saturday, Saturday night, night smoke, out. smoke out, I think. Yeah. So, I guess high and talks about stuff. We can talk about football. Ooh. There's a ghost <laughs> in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, it, is that him? Wait, bring him in here. No. Oh my god. What? Julius. It's a guy. What's up, man? It's a man. Do you like my Burger King hat? Awesome. He didn't say anything. I'm just gonna guess he really likes it. Do the whip. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> All of his kids are gonna be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, not the one like. <laughs> you gonna come out fist first? Yo, Julius, when are you gonna be on the podcast again? <laughs> I don't know. You guys are gonna upload it this time? Yes. No, I got full control of it now. It's under it's under me now. If anything that happens with the podcast, it's all me. As I should be so. in every podcast from now on because I'm just that interesting of a person. That's true. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I don't. Whatever you guys want, I'm down. Just let me know. Okay. Guys, I just got really close to the mic. Guys. All right. <laughs> so are you are you free next Tuesday? What's next Tuesday? Um, I think here. Let me check. I can look at my schedule right now. 
Damn, he's a real adult. He's got a whole ass <laughs> schedule. He has the he has the double phone and oh, okay, dude. He's got the double screen. Yeah, I get off work yeah. at five. He I does get off work at five. I get off. That's work. pretty good. So, I'll be well five cent. Yeah, I, I should be free around this time next Tuesday. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's good. Awesome. Good. Nice. Alrighty. Next Tuesday. Next right, guest here. Alright, we're back. Third right. third time's a charm. We're gonna get this one uploaded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> third time. Here Wait, we go. he hasn't been on three times. I think he has. No, he hasn't. He was wasn't he on the, the last one that we did? No, you had you had some other dude who had like some weird sob story problem. Oh, yeah. oh, don't oh, call it yeah, that, that's, that's dude. Third, yeah, that's, that's I, oh, third. that's feeling yeah. bad. That that would be the fourth time because me and Jacob had a bad podcast where we argued the whole time. <laughs> True, <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was the last episode. Is there footage of you two getting in a fist fight? No, no just gay oral I'm sex. <laughs> All right, see you Tuesday, brother. All right, see you again. Yeah. Damn, you just bro. said Adolf and put your hand in the air. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, like, stop gaslighting me, dude. I didn't do that. Oh, that's pretty intense. I, I don't know. It sounds like it looks like you hailed. Seek hailed. Just, just, yeah, just look. Seek hailed. Do you have something to tell us, Pringle? Yeah. It's the end of the podcast. Thank you for joining, everyone. Um, I'm You're your. I'm, I'm one of many hosts, uh, Jacob or Pringle. This is Mighty. This is Vince. You can find him at twitch.tv slash partyfight. He streams a lot there. YouTube also. I'll put it in the description. And then Cad, I don't know what you want to shout out because you're not really on anything really. T- Twitch. Wow. Twitch. Make Twitch.tv slash comrade Cad. Comrade Cad. Oh, don't no. forget to use code Pringle when you shot for G Fuel. D- no, you're wow. giving them free promotion. We don't own we don't have anything. We don't no. own G Fuel. Yeah, no. I want we, don't, we, we don't own G Fuel Mighty. <laughs> we own it! <laughs> we're gonna buy the company from the what revenue money? from this from the dogecoin yes. money yeah. from the no, save the kids no, coin from the no shout money. out face gay <laughs> fuck you fucking loser yeah, just start start shailing people at the end <laughs> no. fuck yeah I've, I've been your host thank you for watching bro fist Mama. I doubt it Demon time.